Hello Prescott Pumas! Welcome back to more stories! I have three more books for us today. Um, there's some really good ones. If you guys are stuck inside, like me, and you can't really go outside, um, one th fun thing to do is to dance. And I have a book today that actually has some dance moves. So it's called The Animal Boogie. So if you're stuck and you wanted something fun, something new to do, put on some music, dance around, um, yeah, have fun with it. So we have the Animal Boogie. We also have 10 Silly Dogs. And the last one we'll do is Where the Wild Things Are. This one is one of my favorite books. I used to use it, read it when I was a kid, when I was in kindergarten. My teacher used to read this to me. So we'll start with the Animal Boogie, and then we'll continue on from there. All right. Here we go. So this one has a song to it, and it also has a CD. Um, so maybe when we're back in the classroom, we can listen to the CD and we can dance around to it. But for today, I'm just gonna read the story. So it's called The Animal Boogie. Down in the jungle, come if you dare. What can you see shaking here and there? With a shaky shake here and a shaky shake there, what's that creature shaking here and there? It's a bear. She goes, shake, shake, boogie, woogie, oogie. Shake, shake, boogie, woogie, oogie. Shake, shake, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way she's shaking here and there. Down in the jungle where nobody sees, what can you see swinging through the trees? With a swingy swing here and a swingy swing there, what's that creature swinging through the trees? What is that creature? It's a monkey. He goes swing, swing, boogie, woogie, oogie. Swing, swing, boogie, woogie, oogie. Swing, swing, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way he's swinging through the trees. Down in the jungle in the midday heat, what can you see stomping its feet? With a stompy stomp here and a stompy stomp there, what's that creature stomping its feet? Hmm. It's an elephant. She goes stomp, stomp, boogie, woogie, oogie, stomp, stomp, boogie, woogie, oogie, stomp, stomp, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way she's stomping her feet. Down in the jungle where the trees grow high, what can you see flying in the sky? With a flappy flap here and a flappy flap there, what's that creature flying through the sky? It's a bird. He goes flap, flap, boogie, woogie, oogie. Flap, flap, boogie, woogie, oogie. Flap, flap, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way he's flying in the sky. Down in the jungle where the leaves lie deep, what can you see learning how to leap? With a leapy leap here and a leapy leap there, what's that creature learning how to leap? It's a leopard. She goes leap, leap, boogie, woogie, oogie. Leap, leap, boogie, woogie, oogie. Leap, leap, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way she's learning to leap. Down in the jungle where there's danger all around, what can you see slithering on the ground? With a slither, slither here and a slither, slither there, what's that creature slithering on the ground? It's a snake. He goes slither, slither, boogie, woogie, oogie. Slither, slither, boogie, woogie, oogie. Slither, slither, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way he's slithering on the ground. Down in the jungle where the stars are shining bright, who can you see swaying left and right? With a sway, sway here and a sway, sway there, who is swaying left and swaying right? Hmm. We are. We go sway, sway, boogie, woogie, oogie. Sway, sway, boogie, woogie, oogie. Sway, sway, boogie, woogie, oogie. That's the way we boogie through the night. The animal boogie. Let's shake. Let's swing. Let's flap. Let's leap. Let's stomp. Let's slither. Let's sway. Let's boogie. Here's all the different animals. 
So there's a sloth bear. There's a monkey, a vulture, a leopard, an Indian elephant, a cobra, a some parrots, and a hornbill. Hornbill. The end. Ooh, now you can make your up your own dance moves. All right, here we go. Ten silly dogs. And this is by. Lisa Flather. A countdown story. Ten silly dogs are running in the park. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If the shaggy one stops to bark, then there are nine running in the park. Ten, take away one, is nine. Nine silly dogs are scaling a wall. If one can't get over because he's too small, then there are eight scaling a wall. Eight dogs minus one is, oh, nine dogs minus one is eight. Eight silly dogs are racing through a lot. If one lies down because it's too hot, then there are seven racing through the lot. Eight dogs running. Take away one that's lying down, and you should have seven left. Seven silly dogs are going for a swim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven silly dogs. If one dog is scared and won't go in, then there are six going for a swim. Seven, take away one, is six. Six silly dogs are tipping a pail. If one yellow dog chases his own tail, then there are five tipping a pail. Six dogs, take away one, leaves you with five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take away one, and you have five. Five silly dogs are running round and round. If one dog listens to a buzzing sound, then there are four running round and round. One, two, three, four, five. Take away one, stops. One, two, three, four, left. Five take away one is four. Four silly dogs are climbing the stairs. If one fuzzy dog just stops and stares, there are three climbing the stairs. Four, take away one, is three. Three silly dogs are crossing the street. If one hungry dog stops for a treat, then there are two crossing the street. Three dogs, and one stops, leaves you with two. Two silly dogs are digging in the dirt. If one dog stops because his foot begins to hurt, there is one digging in the dirt. Two, take away one, is one. One silly dog is left all alone. A little girl calls that lonely dog home. For a bath. The end. That was good. All right, our last story for today is Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Okay. Where the Wild Things Are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew.
and grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost all over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, roar, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them, with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. Ooh, that was good. So his mom got mad at him, but she still loved him, and she still took care of him. That was a good story. I liked those books. Um, there's going to be an activity down below. Take pictures of what you do or take a video. You can send it to me. I would love to see what you were working on. If you have any book requests, you can let me know too. If there's any, if you want stories about dinosaurs, if you want a story about a snake or about mermaids or unicorns, I'll look and see if I have anything and I will share them with you. Alright, see you next time. Bye you guys. I love you. I miss you. Take care of each other.